What's up, what's up, my happy people? First and foremost, I, want, I have a confession to make. It seems to me that I looked at the bottom of both of these decks. I did. I did, I did, I did, I did. I shuffled, I split, and I was just like, glimpse at them really quick, and I noticed that somebody is a bit nervous about their community. It could be their family. It could be the group that they're a part of. I don't know what's going on. I just had to point it out, guys. I just had to speak. I just had to speak. I had to speak. I had to speak. I, feel, if I, I have trust issues. So if I lie to myself, I feel like you're lying to me. So I had to speak on this, guys. I'm so sorry. I apologize. But look, we're nervous about what our community may think about a potential decision or move we may make. As you can see, it feels as if we're stuck in the mud. Not only are we feeling as if we're stuck in the mud, but we're feeling like we might get cut if we move too far to the left or to the right. So we have to shimmy just right. I don't know where that came from, but I love it. I love that. I love that. Shimmy just right. I think that's going to be the title, guys. Shimmy just right. All right. Say less. All right. Let's rock out. Let's rock out. All right. So let's see what's going on with our Kipper deck. All right, ready, shuffle, and split. I hope everybody's doing more magnifico as per usual. All right, so we have bad health for the main male. Oh, no. Oh, man, that's horrible. Okay, uh, high honor. Okay, so it looks like uh, the main male may have a family member who they hold in high honor who may be in bad health right now. Oh, man. Maybe somebody who's held in high honor in their community, right? I don't know. Oh, man, that's rough. That's rough, bro, bro. Oh, man, I feel so bad for you, dude. Oh, man, but, you know, um, being that he's the main male, that's divine masculine energy, you feel me? That's somebody who is accountable, somebody who is a boss, somebody who embodies all four of the kings within the deck, you feel me? The father of the tarot, you feel me? He could get things done. He is the person to get the job done, to be honest, to be fair, to be true to who the divine masculine the emperor is anywho we're nervous we see that we're very much nervous about this all right oh man let's move forward let's move forward let's see what's going on what is going on with this main male and this bad health all right let's clarify this bad health all right so it looks like oh man there may be a conflict of interest for this main male's love interest in their community, their family. Yeah, yeah. All right. The main male may see this energy as a queen of cups that pursues capture their heart. And the family or community may see them as a page of cups. Interesting. Oh, that's a possibility. That's a very, a very big possibility. Let's, let's clarify. The three of swords before we just you know run with the bottom of the deck how about we do that okay okay all right so it looks to me that ooh, remember the queen of cups now we got the king of cups it looks to me that the king of cups has his eye on someone or something something or someone who is rather successful independent on their own confident i must say but um very grounded and very much to themselves as you can see I, I, it doesn't look to me that he's looking to give the big cup of emotions. He's looking to give something smaller. So like that fish in the cup we see in the page of cups. Maybe he wants to start off small and gradually move things up. And he's nervous about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. He has a gift. He wants to potentially possibly give this nine of pentacles, her tenth pentacle. Or, yeah. Yeah. Take this pre-empress. And make her an empress. All right. Interesting. Now, maybe we're going to leave that like that so you can see the Tenth of Pentacles. All right. Now, may what's this? This is a karmic situation involved. It's not karmic. This energy feels of somebody from their past, they're chained to, may cause conflict to the situation. Anywho, let's, let's continue with this. So. Main male sees the nine, not queen of uh, nine of uh, pentacles, a pre empress energy. Will sees her as a gift. His queen of cups wants to take action, wants to give her his pentacle, giving her her his tenth pentacle. Are right, making this a full set? 
all right now he's in his primal energy he's looking good he's feeling good he's rather courageous he's on his dean he's ready to begin this new cycle or maybe that's where the heartbreak comes from cycles closed with this energy let's clarify that please let's clarify that please Right, we've got the ten pentacles. All right, so yes, cycle may be closed. Oof. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. This is gonna stay on the table for a little bit. All right, so cycle may be closed, but this energy recognizes, sees this energy for what she truly is, wish fulfillment. His he wants is determined to give this energy his tenth pentacle. He sees very clearly who, how, and where they can and will be. He sees the future. He almost feels as if this is a faded event. I want to leave these in the deck so that we have the, uh, so that we have the Ace of Swords. He sees this as his destiny, as a faded event. All right. Oh. We're going to have to clarify this really quick. There's a Queen of Wands here who's sneaking around lying he's cheating lying is sneaking around all right looks like this energy may have to be surrendered it looks like that may be the devil energy that we've seen let's clarify that if we can get the devil on this one all right king of cups ten of cups hmm. i don't know i don't know Alrighty, so yeah, cycle with this energy has been closed out. Alright, um, this energy had to be closed out so that he can give to his Ten of Cups. Now, I also see these two as having a family. Alright, so, yeah, but in order for this King of Wands to move towards this Nine of Pentacles, he had to surrender this Queen of Wands in whatever situation this was. Maybe they had a long time invested in the situation. Let's get some more insight on that. Looks like they had a family, a marriage. All right. Okay. Things are changing. All right. Choices are being made. Things are being seen from a different light. All right. Things that were once hidden, were refusing to acknowledge, are now clearly being acknowledged. Possibly because of the light of this star over here. The star over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Okay. All right, so definitely big time changes. Big, big, big changes I see. And the interesting thing is, I don't remember the King of Swords being next to the tower, but okay, that's cool. Um, it's just crazy how like you know spirit mix you know pulls the cards he wants or she wants um king of swords so yeah he's he's removing himself from people places and things that no longer serve him seeing things clearly looking for law and order oh he's making decisions that are based upon law and order not emotion integrity based decisions and he's making changes quickly seizing opportunities to make all the appropriate changes with this situation Wow, this energy is serious about this Nine of Pentacles. All right. Very good. All right. Okay, as we said, he's very courageous, holding it, holding down the fort, if I say so myself. All right, we have the Two of Cups. It looks like he actually left this pre Empress energy, abandoned her in the investment altogether to pursue a this soulmate interesting so he actually chose a different soulmate let's clarify that yeah he rejected this soulmate yeah and now they're really not in cahoots we're gonna leave her on the table and now they're not speaking whatsoever. They're not in cahoots whatsoever. Possibly because of this karmic situation that he chose over, you know, um, a soulmate. A true soulmate. Oof. 
Oh, so now she has boundaries up. She's not trying to hear that. She's like, yeah, uh-huh, okay, okay, cool, yeah, all right, okay, cool. And she's not, like, feeling him whatsoever. And she's um, very discerning. She may chat it up with him, have a nice conversation with him. But that's only so she can feel and sift through the energy, see what's going on. She understands she's a nine of pentacles on her own. So she's not really too worried about where this last pentacle comes from. Or, I shouldn't say it like that. She she has options. There you go. She, she knows she has options. She knows that she, her boundaries and she knows her worth. Very good. There we go. Somebody wants forgiveness. Somebody wants this passion in the beginning. Alright. Oh, sorry. Somebody wants this passion in the beginning. Alright. I'm feeling like they have a problem, though. Alright. As I said... There's a problem. All right. Somebody's doing some research, some digging around, some introspection. All right. Dark Knight of the Soul, realizing who this Queen of Swords is. And it's their fate. It's their destiny to, to be this one, to be the person. All right. It's fated for these two. And they have an offer to give have ex emotions to express to this queen of swords they do hmm. and they're in their head possibly about reckless player like behavior possibly about the, the fleeing and leaving her out in the cold abandoning and abandoning her let's get some more on that one All right, so apparently he wants to step up and take accountability for abandoning her, being reckless, being a player, being inconsistent, All right, being there for a good time and not a long time, causing burdens for this queen of swords. All right. Now, they've been holding, they've been saving. They want to come in and put the work in or holding on tight. Now they want to come in and put the work in with this queen of swords they want to take accountability for the actions they like to man up and apologize move things forward confirmation on my phone all right so let's see if there's anything else for this reading yeah so yeah somebody would like public recognition and somebody would like to give their offer to this queen of swords it looks to be the king of swords would like to give his offer to the queen of swords possibly rekindle and reopen the situation so my question is why the bad health the return ah king of cups is sick about making this return the verdict is gonna make him nervous oh okay okay king of cups has a weak tummy okay that's interesting that's interesting how much time do we have 13 26 all right okay all right, 13.26 on the clock. If I'm not mistaken, we had one for 20, 20 minutes earlier today. So I don't see an issue. All right. So, apparently... Apparently... King of Swords has an offer to give. Right? He wants to give it to the Queen of Swords. Alright? He also feels like this is a faded event. Alright? He definitely feels like this is faded, his partner, his match. Alright, but he is sick. He's sick about what the verdict is going to be for his swords on him. Yeah. Okay, he wants to make this return. He's stuck in his emotions, deeply consumed. What's up with that? Let's get some insight on that. All right, some conflict, there's some fighting, there's some tension, a lot of tension now. Okay, he definitely wants to heal things. Confirmation on my phone again. Definitely wants to heal things with this Queen of Cups. All right, definitely wants to make this return. Okay. 
Why is the conflict though? Why the conflict? Why the conflict? Strength, calm, cool, collect, persevering. There's some confusion. So somebody's taking some time to rest again with the sickness. Again with the sickness confirmation on that for so, right, so, so there's a bit of confusion right now. So they're taking time to sit back and look at things. Is the confusion that she's an empress and not a queen of pentacles? Let's see if we can get an ace of swords on that. What's the confusion? No confusion. Unsure of if they'll be able to be victorious with this energy. They're realizing she is an empress. And she's offered or extended her cup to him before. Something's hidden. What's hidden? What is this hidden? Let's see what's hidden. What's hidden? The divine masculine. The divine masculine is hidden wants to come forward wants to handle or continue their spiritual contract okay okay because remember he chose the karmic contract remember that he chose the karmic contract with the queen of wands and in order for him to move forward towards the pre-empress energy he has to close out that other cycle which they, it seems to be that they invested a lot of time in with the ten of cups there a lot of time maybe there's some family activity maybe they've been together for years i don't know but there was a lot of time invested in that situation but whatever the spiritual contract is somebody's sick they didn't hop on it the first time and they're ready to come forth and take accountability and be a part of this union now anything else apparently this empress is their emotional satisfaction is where they want to be they do want to reconcile they do want to move forward victoriously oh, hold on they do want to balance the scales out there you go and fix things okay so i think we're gonna leave this one here this was a dope read this was an awesome read Sorry for the all over the place, but this was awesome. We got two and one for this one. All right, so <sighs> recap quickly. King of Swords is officially King of Cups. He's coming forth to take accountability for his actions, to reconcile, to balance the scales, and to transition this situation. You two should be moving forward victoriously in balanced energies to ch and transform and you're going to transform the situation of course they are still stuck in their heads with the nine of swords and they're still you know upset about the pain that they've inflicted with the five of cups so they're rather remorseful so let's just um you know they're sick because of their own actions and their how they treated this empress so let's let them heal get over that so they're not like you know clouding the space nonetheless congratulations for the uh upgrade for the level up and congratulations to the empress for remaining on your throne it's very nice for you to move forward nine of pentacles on your own you did that you did that and i'm extremely proud of that this divine masculine is finally stepping up and removing himself from this karmic situation and i'm proud of that as well it's very difficult all right so we're gonna leave this here I love you all. Mucho, mucho mas. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you guys have a muy, muy fantastico day and a very productive day. All right? Love and like, guys. Mm -hmm.